Hello everyone and welcome to Baloj Dev YouTube channel. Hi, I am Noman Nisar and today we are diving deep into the code behind a Flutter chatbot application. What makes it even more exciting is that we will be integrating it with Google Dialogflow. It's going to be a fascinating journey so let's just get started. So before we start, we will be just creating a brand new Flutter application. So in my case, I have already created a, a simple project of Flutter and here in the main dot dot, I have done nothing. Just I have just provided some dummy code, which is on page. So I'll be just creating this on page in a separate file in, in in my dart in my lib directory so i'll be just creating here which is basically a home page and will be home page dot dot and here i will be just creating her a stateful class will name it home page and in the placeholder section i'll be just providing high scaffold widget just and I will be importing this into my main dot and I will be just setting the theme to the dark dark theme so I want that my application uh, should be in dark mode so I'll be just creating the theme and I'll be just brightness brightness to dark and now I'll be just setting the theme mode to dark that's it. I will just save it and I will see a dark screen in my emulator. So before we begin with the coding, so we will be just going to our uh, dialog flow and we will just train our uh, bot so that we can access the responses of, from that bot into our Flutter application. So we will be using the dialog flow cloud. Uh, which is basically provided uh, by Google so we can train. Uh, so in this dialog flow we can uh, create simply bots and we will just give intents to it and we can access them into our uh, Flutter application. So without wasting any time let's just create a, an agent first. So I'll be just clicking on create an agent and i'll be just naming my agent to baluch dev chatbot and i'll be just creating a new google project and i'll be just so it doesn't take white spaces so let's just create it so let's just wait while it's being working and creating so yeah that's it our chat uh, agent has been created in the name of Baloch Dev Chatbot. So, what can we do in this chatbot? We can just give some intents and responses on that basis. On that basis of questions, our chatbot will uh, give the responses. So, I'll be just going to this, uh, clicking this setting icon from here, basically, and here at the bottom where we will see the beta feature beta enable beta features and apis i'll be just clicking and just enable it and i'll be just saving this so basically our our this chatbot or our this agent uh, simply has two uh, intents one is for welcome message and one is for bar, uh, fallback intent so simply I will just saying to hi this chatbot it will just automatically give uh, the responses from this depart welcome intent so now we will be just creating our custom intents here so I'll be just creating a intent here so basically I'll be just creating a one intent to show you guys how can we create that so you can create multiple intents and multiple responses for your chatbot so I'll be just adding this training page and I'll be just creating his uh, who has no mom Lisa 
and we can just give a variety of this type question basically it will be how a user can ask this question in how many ways user can ask this type of questions so user can ask oh no man so basically you can head multiple varieties of questions and what possibilities that uh, a simple user can ask question uh, to your chatbot basically you can create multiple multiple varieties of your questions and you can also head the response to this intent basically so i'll be just creating simple one response Uh, this answer this answer can be whatever answer you simply want to if user ask who is no man simply the chatbot response will be this you can also have multiple varieties or variant of uh, your this response so you can just do that and i'll be just creating is saving this and there you go your entity has been saved i'll be just clicking on done button and now we will be just checking this who has no man basically and see this is not working yet so i'll be just going back and clicking this and now let's just refresh our screen after refreshing our screen now let's just ask it who has no man so it is all still not recognizing it so why so we have not given the name to hint i guess and true production and i'll be just saving this great now let's just go back to our intents there it is intent and yeah now let me ask who has no one so it is still not given this let's just check this the last time basically so let's just go to our intent again and in the response section i'll be just setting this intent to this and this 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 and i'll be just saving it again and i'll click this done button okay great so just go back to our intent again i'll be clicking this and who has no man nisa and i'll be just calling this now now see our chatbot is working as uh, we have just given this response so for now i have just uh, trained my chatbot for her one intent so you can head multiple intents like this and just go back to uh this intent section and create intent and you can head uh, so many intents according to your requirements so i have basically just created a one intent to show uh, you guys how it how it works so just go back to the setting section and this is the project id now let's just go back to your google cloud console and in this google cloud controls be uh be sure that you are login logged in with the same google account uh, um, in this dialog flow is essential and on this console dot dialog flow account so i am already logged in with the same account now i'll be just uh, searching my this chatbot uh, project so i'll be just uh, clicking on my projects and i'll be just clicking on the whole section and now what was the name so it was ec so i'll be just selecting that and i'll just confirm that yeah both of them are same basically so from here now i'll be just clicking here where i will be searching for dialog flow api 
which is this you will see the dialog flow happy i just click on that so let's just wait so when you click on the dialog flow happy i you will see her dialog flow happy i uh, simply just in your case if you have not already enabled it so in your case in this in place of this manage button you will see her enable button so just click on that enable button and then you are good to go so after that just come back to the uh, come back in api section which will be api services and just go back to the credentials after that just create a credential of type service account and in the service account just we need to create a key of uh, json type so we can download it so here we will just name it baloch dev chat bot basically if you want to this is a chat bot simple just create the create create and continue here from here and uh, simply select the role basically we will be just selecting the dialog dialog flow api admin dialog flow api admin and just click on the continue button and that's it so simply click on this done and you are done by just now in the service account section uh, email has been service account has been created just click on that uh, after clicking this just go to the section of keys here basically and in this add key just click here and create a new key and just select the json basically we will be just downloading this json key and uh, adding this json into our uh, project basically so let's just create so now we are done with this dialog flow and this uh, google cloud basically so we will be just creating now uh, adding this json file into our project so i'll be just creating a folder with the name of assets so i just basically have that asset so let's just remove this so yeah i'll be just right clicking here and i'll be creating a new folder in the name of assets and now i'll be just dragging that file into my project which we have downloaded from our cloud console so basically here i'll be just dragging this and just install add it into my asset folder and i'll be just renaming this to dialog flow or json and we are done so we need to also head the path of this asset into our pubspec.yml file so i'll just copy this from here basically i'll be just going back to my pubspec.yml file and i'll just uncomment this and one two and i'll be just giving the path which is assets dot our json file basically so now i'll be just saving this and yeah it's good now we will be now we need a package uh, from that package we can communicate with our dialog flow so let's just install a package which will be our plotter pub head dialog plotter so yeah let's just create that so to ensure that our package has been installed or not we will be just going back to our uh, pubspec.yml file and that's and yes our package is installed so basically now we will be just designing our home page
so basically we have the screen and we also need uh, uh, another file for the message services I'll be creating a new file which will be message screen dot dot and I'll be just creating a stateful widget here which will be message screen that's it so let's just go back to our home page and in the home page we will be just designing our uh, page so yeah basically we need uh, we will be just requiring the instance of our that package dialog plotter which we have just installed so i'll be just using that dialog plotter and here you go i'll be just creating a variable and there you go now i'll just take this head uh, let variable to remove my error so i also need a text uh, editing controller for, to send my messages to the Mm, dialog flow so i'll be just adding a final uh, text editing controller which will be how controller and that will be text editing controller great so now i will be just initializing my this dialog flow in my hnet state so it will just take the uh, json file and initialize it uh, to this dialog flow plotter instance basically so i'll be just create uh, going to use the dialog dialog flow dialog plotter and from file and if that is done then it's a future function so in the then part we will be just initializing uh, this instance to our this dialog flow this dialog plotter instance basically which is dialog plotter is equal to instance and great now that's it now i'll be just coming back to my designing page in the escape fold fold part i'll be just using my app bar and in the app bar i'll be just providing a title which will be the text and the text will be baloch dev chat bot simply so here now we will be just uh, designing our part which is the body part so in the body i'll be just using a container simple basic container and here in the container i will be just in the child part i'll be just using the column widget so in here we need the text and here we need the uh, text form field for sending the messages so i'll be just taking this in the children and uh, in the children section now i will just need my messages which will be coming from message screen page let's see her screen page so yeah that's it now we need my text form field basically so that's it so we will take a uh, head our text form field also in, into a container so uh, later on we will be just uh, checking the paddings and margins and all of the spacing things uh, in this our container to see uh, what can we do there so i'll be just making the color to deep purple color store deep purple so yeah now i will be just uh, using the child and in the child we want the row, row because we want a text form field and a send button so and we will be using the row uh, I'll be using the children part and in the children part I'll be just using my expanded widget expanded widget because we need her row so there are both two widgets and one is the icon button and one is the row so there there should not be any kind of 
overflow for the size issue so that is the reason i am using my expanded budget here so in the child section i will be just using the text form uh, text field basically and in the text field i will be just using my controller which i have just uh, provide my controller which i have just created above so here it is it's the content uh, controller and i'll be just styling this uh, so the text will be text should be white cons text style color colors dot white that's it now in the row we also need a send button basically so we will be just adding that and button and i'll be just using the icon button which provides the on press functionality so here you go i'll be just making this empty for now and i'll be just adding the icon icon start send that's it so i'll be using the const and there you go we have got our uh, text form field in our home page so great now let's just check this so so we need some kind of paddings here basically so let's just head that which is padding trick. horizontal 14 and vertical simple head let's just see how it looks there's there's now yeah uh, it's good now so now now let's just go back and design our message screen so yeah now simply just um, we will be designing this send message basically so how can we send a message so i'll be just providing the function here so i'll be just creating my uh, send function uh, send function um, at the bottom of my this home page so i'll be simply creating a send message and it will just take the uh, controller text basically so i'll be just providing her text here and it will be her async function i'll be just creating that so we will first just check if the text is this controller is empty or not so if it is empty so just send a message that your text is empty so it will be is empty so just show print message is empty that's it so in the health part just set state that and head the messages uh, into the message basically which message the dialog flow message so we will be just creating this function also which will be the message and we will be just creating this right now in a second so before that i will be just heading my uh, detect and take and creating a response on it so basically this detect intent will send uh, our this text message to our chatbot and and the chatbot give a response and this that response coming from the chatbot uh, will be stored in this response so we will be just using that and i'll be just using the how wait keyword and i'll be just adding this outside of this class await and we will be just using our instance which we have just created it above and now i'll be using the detect intents and now it requires a query and now it requires a query input and the query input takes the query input basically so we will just add that query input and this query input takes uh, some kind of text i guess so let's just 
uh, provide the text and what which text it requires it requires the input text and we will just provide how uh, this text we are getting from our this controller to send it to our chatbot so that's it from here so we will just now check if response dot message is equal to null so let's just return not return simply and we will be just else else part we will be just creating and add message and in the add message we will just put our this whatever response so now let's just create this add message function so that is very much simple so we will be just uh, storing this these messages these messages in a list basically so let's just go to the top and just create a list first so the list will be basically a type of a map so we can uh, use the key and a value in that so i'll be just creating the list type of map and with map type will be string and the dynamic and it will be the messages and it will be empty for now great so now i'll be just creating my head message and this add message will be just uh, taking the parameter and the whatever message comes from our uh, chatbot or the dialog flow section we will be just adding that which is the message this message is basically coming from our package and we will take the instance message and we will also head a boolean so to recognize that the message is coming from the user side or the message is coming from uh, bot side so for, from this boolean or from this variable we can recognize that the message is coming from our chatbot or from uh, the if the user uh, or the message is being sent from the user side so based on this variable so we can uh, align our chat so if chat chatbot messages will be on this side and the user messages will be on this side so according to this we will be just aligning our chats so here we will be just creating a bool his message is user message and here i'll be just setting it to false because this section is these messages are these messages will be coming from the bot side so initially it will be false from here so that's it now we will be just adding whatever messages are coming uh, we will be just adding them into our uh, list which we have just created now so the list is the in the form of map so we will be just uh, adding that in the form of map basically the message and just add this message into our uh, list and we will be also sending this his his user message and we'll post pass this user message his user message that's it yeah that's it now we will just add the text from messages message and we will be just adding the text and the text is the text requires a dialog text and what text we need to provide it this text basically uh, which is coming from here which will be the text and the text will be this text great now we are done we have just added the text also and now we will also um, do it do the same things here which will be the message and the text it requires a dialogue text so we will be just providing it text and here we will be just making uh, our to true 
to send so why we are getting this message so basically yeah it requires the parameter text which will be this yeah, that's it so we also need it uh, to pass it through so because this this time it is uh, the message is coming from our user which is the send button is triggered uh, basically that we will trigger this it will be coming it's the message will be uh, user so is user message will be true basically so that's it so now we will be just providing our message here this send message send message and we will just take uh, uh the text is the controller text whatever user types here basically we will also clear the controller great now we are done by creating this home page and we will be just going to our message screen where we will do the all the magics and send the messages to the chatbot and do the aligning al alignment steps so basically the messages will be shown here and we will be just designing the bubbles so we will be just getting the messages from our uh, this list basically so we need to pass the list into our constructor so which will be the final list messages and that's it now i'll be just adding the final pins to my constructor that's it uh, here you go now I'll be just going back and here in the expanded widget I will be just calling my that message screen children which will be the message screen and here you go So basically this message screen has nothing for now so we will be just designing it now so let's just remove this place hold of and we will be just returning a list view and the list view will be a separated list view so why we are using this separated one because uh, this list view dot separated gives the functionality to separate our uh chats mm, basically it provides a separator so we will be using the paddings as our separator so it requires a item builder item count and a separator builder and the separator builder will be the padding and we we need the paddings agents on the top which will be only top and 10 that's it I'll be using the cons keyword here and save this and now I will uh, we required a item count what messages which how much messages should we should it show on the screen so whatever the size of our list will be we will show the dead messages which will be widget dot messages dot length that's it now it requires a uh, item builder so let's just provide the item builder to our uh, list view builder and here we will be just returning a container so in the container we also need some kind of margins so which will be const agents sick dot hall which will be the 10 and we will just um, adjust it according to our requirements after we see uh, the chats basically so here we will be just using the container and in the container we will be using a row basically we will be needing a row to just show the messages so now we need a bubble basically so now we will be just designing our screen so in the row now we will be just checking some condition so now if the 
sender or the message is from user so let's just do it in the left side if it is user so just align it into our right side so here we will be just giving a condition which will be widget dot messages and messages will take a hint text as it is a list so now now we will be just using the his user message so if it is true then main access alignment uh, dot hint or if it's just align it into the start that's it so here what we are doing so if this is from user or the variable it at the boolean variable the value is true just align align all the messages and at the left side at the end or if the this is false just align it into the star just this side so now we will be using the children and in the children section uh, we will be using a hand of the container which will be and we will just give it some paddings here and the padding this time we will be just heading some uh, symmetric one edge and stack dot symmetric and we will be just horizontally 14 and vertically 14 so we will be just adjusting these two and see the requirements if it is working or not so yeah now we will be just creating our bubbles here we will be just decorating the bubbles so in the box decoration we will be just decorating them box decoration basically we will be just giving some border radius so border radius so we will be just border radius dot only and the bottom left will be 20 sorry now we require the circular and that will be 20 great now we'll be just copy this sorry now i'll be just copying this and i'll be just changing the bottom left to my top right and i will also giving this 20 and now on the bottom right we will be just also giving some conditions radius dot circular and widget dot messages index and this message is from user message then just uh, do it zero give give it zero radius or if it is uh, the board so simply just give it 20 so yeah now i'll be just copying this again and now we will be just heading it top left and now we'll be just changing this if the user 20 just to that great so now we will be just giving some colors to head to the bubbles basically and we will also check the condition and then we will just change the color if the user is sending the message the color will be different so it will take the index and now we'll check his user message so we will be just giving the color colors to deep purple and else colors colors dot green and i'll be shading it to 900 so yeah we will be just checking this if it is working or not so that's it now now i want that my screen should be responsive it should work in the web pages and in the mobile pages so i'll be just uh, taking my width size of my screens from using the media query so i'll be just using the media query and this is the way we can uh simply 
make our screens responsive so for width is equal to media query and I'll be just taking the context size and the width that's it now we will be just giving some constraint to hover this uh, container which will be constraint box constraint and the mix the mix width size will be according to our screen width so i'll be just multiplying it with two and dividing it three so here we need some kind of calculation basically so in the child part of the container i will be just showing my uh, messages which will be a text widget and in the text widget i'll be just showing the messages widget dot messages and it will be index and now we will just show the messages and i'll just make it to text and just take the index zero and show the messages basically So here I'll be just making some style that our text should be white text style color colors dot white and that's it. So yeah, now let's just send a message and see what we we see here. And I'll be just sending hi. so let's see we have used two colors in our container basically if we are using the decoration we should hide the color in inside the decoration basically i'll be just cutting it from here and i'll pasting this here and that's it and see we have got our message and it is looking good Hi. but but we are not getting the chatbot messages so let's just kill our this application for once and just rerun it so let's just see if it works so let's go back to our home message so yeah we have not added our this to a set statement message so that is why it is not uh, rebuilding the state again so let's just what we started so yeah now we see the response so now i will just asking the message what we have just trained our app chatbot so i will be just asking who has normally sir and now i'll send this message and it will just give the response accordingly so it is just repeating our messages why it is so let's just check send message the text is empty print empty else to this add message and text dialog text 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 this and this so we need to provide this basically here So now I'll be just sending hi and it is so 
so here we need to provide the response message basically so here we have our header so let's just refactor it and save this and again we will just send a message and see if it works great now now our chatbot is working so now i'll be just asking who is normal nisa and i'll be sending this and we will get the response of what we have just trained our chatbot see whatever we have just uh, created intent that is giving the response according to our uh, dialogue flow where we have just trained our uh, this chatbot basically so you can uh, create multiple intents and create your uh, chatbot according to your requirements and that's it for today's uh, code i hope this has been insightful and helpful especially the part about training the chatbot and, and dialogue flow remember you can find the full code in the video description before we wrap up i'd love to hear from you what tutorial would you like to see next is there a specific topic or project you are interested in learning about please leave your suggestions uh, in the comment below your feedbacks matters Thank you for joining me today if you found this video valuable please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials and code deep dives